Hey there, welcome back to Morrowind. In the last part we looted this ancient Daedric crypt and we picked up a Daedric battle axe, the Daedric staff and this Daedric longsword. We already had that one. What we didn't have was this Daedric shield and this Daedric face of inspiration which is a unique helm in the game there are only a few of these scattered throughout Morrowind. We also found this Eidolon's ward. So let's take that. Also, we found an assassin that somehow found us here, so that was incredible. Well done him, until he died. So now we're carrying way too much stuff, so let's head home. Hey, creeper. Come on, help us scamp out. You gotta need something. I've got booze. I like booze. So, all this Daedric stuff, it's the best quality type of weapon in the game, but it's also the heaviest. And it's also the most expensive. So it looks like it will be impossible to sell all this stuff to him, but how we do it is we'll pick this staff here that sells for 14,000 and then we'll buy back 9,000 worth of stuff from him. And let's buy those booze he mentioned. There you go, and now that's 5,000. So what we could do would be to wait here 24 hours and then we could trade him again. Well, let's check our money, we should be fine. Yeah, we've got 11,000 gold at the moment, we really don't need to worry about having that much more money right now. So, let's drop all this extra stuff. Our previous chest broke, so we have to make sure we replace it. We'll leave one of these helms. I think we're going to keep this Daedric face of inspiration for the time being and take it home with us, but we'll drop everything else. Let's check out this Dwarven Claymore. So that is a big sword. Sadly we're not going to use it, so let's drop that. Next up, let's check the Daedric Battle Axe. That looks really good and fancy, and very lethal. Sadly, despite being really powerful, it also weighs 90. So yeah, we cannot carry that, we do not have the strength. Let's drop all of these daggers that summoned ghosts when we picked them up. And also, this is where we make a decision in the game, which is which sword we're going to use. So the Daedric Longsword is much better than the Glass Frost Sword. It does around 10 extra damage maximum on all the different types of attacks. However, it weighs a lot more, and this has a magical effect. So we are going to drop our Daedric Longsword now. It's been a good run, but it's just too heavy to carry. And the second decision is going to be the Eidolon's Ward here. This is heavy armour, however it's much better than our really bad light shield, because we never did upgrade this, and it has a really powerful healing effect that will be useful to us. So we are going to use that along with this glass sword. So let's drop everything else. There you go, and now we can move. Lay the creeper. I do like this helm. It strikes fear into the hearts of everyone who sees me. It's a fancy helm. What's this about? It's about my helm. How do you feel about going on a date? Hey, you would like to. Excellent, I'll pick you up later. Right, so right now we should probably head back north to that camp, the Ulushaku camp up there, for the main quest of the game to be named Nerevarine. However, first, since we are in Caldera, we may as well do the Fighter's Guild job to kill the four Telvani agents. Because we've been here several times and we keep leaving without doing it, so we should probably do it while we're here. Let's have a look at this sword. I do like the look of the glass sword. So even though it is called glass, it is very powerful. Basically it's a type of molten volcanic glass made from um, the lava of Red Mountain, which is at the centre of Morrowind here. So that's why it's really durable, despite being called glass. Hey, a cliff racer! We're gonna leave him. Right, so that way will be to the ebony mine. 
But we were also told by a local commoner that, yes, right here there's a cave. She mentioned that um, an Argonian in Caldera over there mentioned that Throcknorth of Craven, who was some sort of smuggler of some kind, was hiding his loot here. So let's go in. Let's save first, just in case. Let's make sure they're f aggressive before I kill them. Yep, they are. You don't deserve to live. Ah! Oh, this is bad. Let's quickly use a potion. Yeah, the damages of axes in this game are really random. Like, already, damage is quite random, like you can see, ours is like 2, 1, and 4. But the axes is always 1, and then it has huge highest damage rolls, so... It's hard to really know how powerful the enemy are when they're using axes. She probably could have one-shot us if she got a good damage roll then. I will bathe in your blood. Oh, this is fucking off for Craven. You've heard of him. He's the idiot that led me here. You will die where you stand. Okay, we are getting wrecked by an enchant. Let's use all of the healing potion. Mm. Right, and now we're about to die, but it's a good thing that we have our shield. Where is it? There it is. Oh, never mind. You weren't going to die anyway. Well, let's use it anyway and see how much it heals us for. Boom. Max health immediately. This is because we have really low health, but also because this shield is amazing. Yeah, so this was the guy who got drunk at the local pub and was um, boasting about how his group had loads of loot that the guards weren't going to get. Well, it's on his uh, conscience that I'm killing everyone now. Let's go and get a Bound Longsword out. Because the Bound Longsword is dangerous quality, so we may as well use it if we can. That is if the spell successfully gets cast. Come on, game! Never mind. Let's go. Let's try and sneak up on her. Never mind. You die. Like, if we sneak up on them, we can score a critical hit. It's just that um, every time we do sneak up on them, our critical hit misses, so we don't get it, which is really annoying. Can't rest here. Where can we rest? Here we can. Just getting our mana back so we can cast this spell. Not that it seems to matter. Oh, there we go, we finally cast it. Your bones will be my dinner. Sadly, that didn't count as a critical hit. I'm not sure like what the random chance is of, of getting a crit, then. I thought it was guaranteed, but obviously it's not. Because it actually says on the screen if you score a critical hit. Oh dear, I've just realised what's happened. Okay, so um, during that fight, we started moving slower. Our boots broke. Our boots are blinding speed. Remember these? These are the things that push us up from 55 speed to 255 speed. So remember, this is how fast we're meant to move in this game. Really slowly. Do you remember this? We were like this for the first two parts of the game, and how I said I never wanted to unequip those boots. This is why. They're so slow. Sadly, we can't do anything to um, upgrade the durability of those boots, so later in the game we are just guaranteed to lose those boots in big fights. So we'll have to carry some armor or hammers with us later. We've got some back at home, so after we're done here, we'll go home. So we 
still have seven norm seven magical arrows, so we'll keep them. Give me sugar. Need to drop some stuff. Let's drop these iron arrows. Actually, no, we're really low on arrows, we can't drop them. Let's drop the hound meat. That's quite heavy. Soul trap. Excellent. We'll take that. Our mythicism skill is still terrible, so we could use that to guarantee a soul trap. There's an open scroll. Can we rest? No, we can't rest yet. There's likely one more enemy. Hi, you. So now we can't move quickly anymore, so... We can't avoid, avoid her attacks, we'll just have to get lucky and score some hits. Right, we definitely need to heal, so come back my Eidolon Ward. There we go. Of course. Press F instead. I was going for the um, quick key to the sword, but I forgot that it was a bound one. Okay. Why did I take that? I don't know. Let's chug one of these heavy potions. So we could rest here. Let's use our bound longbow. Because there's one more enemy. And let's hopefully score a crit this time. Nope, that didn't even hit him. Oh, he can summon those guys. That's bad. Let's hopefully kill him from a distance. So, uh, those are the enemies that can drain our strength. Right, good, he didn't reach us. If that bound uh, creature reached us, then it could have drained our strength, which would have lowered our carry rate and left us completely motionless. And that wouldn't have been ideal. See, there's some money here. And a slave key. So we have slaves here, so let's free them. And an unnamed book. Right. I'm not going to waste our magic on this. We'll just pick the lock of an apprentice pick. I probably should have wasted our magic thinking about it. Yeah, I forgot how bad our security skill was. Oh, it's done. Excellent. And there was nothing in there. Well, that was brilliant. Thanks, game. Right, let's get rid of some of these cheaper store health potions. So let's go free these slaves. Oh, yes, of course. We do need to change our quick key. We'll change it to our sword. There we go. And here's the slaves. Hi, guys. Go free. So that's two slaves. Right, there are five slaves here. We'll free all five. You guys get over to Ebonheart. To the um, ask, Argonian mission. Those guys will get you back home. Right, freed you all of them. The Please move, speak. thank you. Now then, while we're here, we'll drop our other braces. And now let's go and check out that water. I thought that guy wasn't naked then, but no, he is naked. That's good. Just see if there's anything hidden here. There's enemies. Oh, they're just slaughter fish. Right, that slaughter fish dealt with. I can't see anything here. 
No, there's nothing there from what I can see. Usually there's always something hidden in these areas, but I can't see anything. And nothing up there either. Okay. Then we will just go and use an Amsevi um, intervention. If, don't get stuck, please, game. Come on, we can make it. I believe in you. Okay, I don't believe in you anymore. There we go. Excellent. So we'll use our um, Sevi intervention necklace. And this should take us back to Balmora. And then we will repair our boots. And hand him, and uh, then come back to Caldera. What is this one before me? This one before you is a slave you rescuer. Are Blessed we are. What do you ask, master? I'm not your master. No one is. You're free. Let me move. Please. I know you're free now, but can you stop covering the exit? Thank you. Okay, and now let's head back home. This should take us to Balmora. Yes, excellent. Right, so while we're here, we'll need to drop some weight. That'll do. And let's just continue to enjoy this movement speed for a little bit. Just to remind everyone why I decided to pick up those boots of blinding speed right at the start of the game. And why I said I never want to take them off unless I'm forced to. It's so good. Just imagine playing the game at this speed. Like obviously I'm being slowed down by my carry weight. Or the items I'm carrying with me. But still, like, you're very slow in this game. Prepare my boots of blinding speed. Thank you. Now then, if you remember, we can't just put these boots right back on. Because otherwise they blind us and we can't see anything. So we need to go to our blinding speed spell. Is this magic 100%? And, uh, I guess we'll go to bed. In your dreams, a tall figure in a golden mask spoke to you. Lord Nerevar Inderil. Hey, raised Diana, long forgotten, forged anew. Free belied you, free betrayed you. One you betrayed was three times true. Lord Vaughn Dagoff, Dagoffer, steadfast liegeman, faithful friend. Bid you come and climb Red Mountain. Beneath Red Mountain once again, break your bonds, shed cursed skin, and purge the Enwar from Morrowind. Oh, hi Dagafer, how you doing? Like, I like hearing from you, mate. I am your old friend apparently, but I do really need to get some rest to cast this spell. Hope you don't mind, we're going back to bed. Thank you. There we go. So now, let's put those boots on, we resist the magic, and we can move freely again. So let's just drop our stuff. Let's drop all the books here. Oh, that's an Aedra and Daedra spell, is that still here? Or has that got lost somewhere? I think, yep, yeah, that's lost to time. I don't know where that's gone, it's somewhere in that pile. I'm not looking for it. I was going to put that on my bed because it might have been an important book. Let's put that on the bed. Because RK is one of the gods, so that could be a good read later. Right, we're keeping these notes because that might be for a mage guild quest. We already have that book on our bed. Right, the Book of Daedra. Let's put that one on our bed. Because the Daedra are important. Remember that we just looted a tomb that had a load of Daedra in it, so it would be good for us to actually learn about the Daedra at some point. Right, and now let's put away some ingredients for potion making. We will leave ten of these in our inventory for a quest for the Imperial Cult. Skimmer pipe on top. 
Right. Should probably really get rid of some of these potions that are weighing us down so much. Oh well. Let's drop off some magical amulets or something we no longer need. Well, that's rubbish. We're just going to sell that. More an amulet. Let's put that back on. Ring of Night Eye. We don't need that. Right, fortify medium armor. We can definitely put that down. And we can put down fortify axe. This Alcevi intervention necklace is amazing. We'll keep that. Yeah, I think that's everything. So now, let's put down these slave braces, because these are our trophies from freeing slaves. So we'll put them down one at a time, so we can see how many slaves we've rescued. And we'll just have to remember to pick the other ones up from the temple later. There we go. And we already have one of those common shirts, which we were told to get. We should probably sleep again to get our mana back. Well, we should be fine. Hi, guard. You okay? You okay? Right, let's go on a date. No, he doesn't think that's appropriate. Never mind. Did I remember to um, hand in request for House Halu? Yes, I did. Okay. Right, so right now... What are we doing again? Oh yes, Caldera. That's the one. Sorry. Is there something I can do for you? Yeah, you can remind me what I'm doing. It seems like I get very easily distracted. How does the day greet you, friend? Right, so let's go back to Caldera. Actually, before we go... No, let's go. I was going to say that I was going to grab... How can I help Hi there. You? Is grab one of my blacksmith hammers I before you. I left, just in case our boots break again. But they shouldn't break on this mission. Right, so this time we'll head to the Ebony Mine, and we'll do this fighting guild quest. And then after that, we'll head back up to the camp that we were at before. And we can actually continue with the game. Which should be great, it would be a nice change of pace. Well, I say that, but we've actually been doing the main quest quite a bit recently. So we probably should start going on sidetracks again. But we'll do it after a certain point in the main quest, when we're more free to do whatever we want. We also really want to have um, a house made for us, so we need to continue with the House Halley quest for that. So we can stop living in that guy's upstairs uh, attic. Hi you! I believe you are one of those Talvani agents, aren't you? Yes, Alvalag. Hi there. Tell us about yourself. He's in the guild. Does he mean the Thieves Guild? Tell me about the latest rumours. Noble families often aren't around to watch their manners, so they lock everything up. This makes them a wonderful opportunity to practice your skill at picking locks in the privacy of someone's house. Of course, just don't neglect to check the contents of a chest after you pick it up. Well, yeah, he seems to be um, in the Thieves' Guild. No, I don't, but I've been hearing you're working for the Telvani, apparently. Arrgh! Pity you had to get mixed up in this, Black Cap. But we can't just let you walk away. Nothing personal, you understand. Just business. Well, he's the one who drew on me, so... I'm gonna say that I'm justified in killing him. So it's worth noting that... Do you just take a healing potion? I'm the one who does that. You jerk. Let's just kill him first and then I'll say that I'm fine to save. There we go. Let's take those arrows. We are desperately in need of arrows. Yes, yeah, like I was going to say, um... We were warned by the previous guildmaster of the Fighters Guild that apparently something weird was going on and they weren't doing very honourable missions anymore or something like that. So it would seem like I may be being sent here to kill the Thieves Guild and I'm a Thieves Guild member so I'm not really a fan of that. Hi guys. Hey, Yeah, 
Yay, we finally scored a hit. Come on. I have no idea what um, kind of calculation goes into whether you get knocked down or not. Come on, hit her one more time. There we go. Because uh, previously we were knocked down by that lady with that big axe in that um, previous dungeon we were at. And this time we knocked her down, and we also knocked down that Frocknoff guy before as well. So I don't know what, like, calculations go into figuring out whether you get knocked down or not. I'm guessing it has something to do with power attacks, at least. I just strip everyone of everything but their pants, so they know that I'm the one who killed them. Ooh, was that a fortified speed potion? It was. We'll keep that. We may as well move faster when we're going back up north. Summon a skeletal minion. That sounds fun. Well, she doesn't have any pants, so we'll leave her with a skirt on. We also need to go back to the Fighters Guild anyway, um, even if we didn't do this quest to pick up some more healing potions. Because this shield is amazing for healing us, but at the same time, we need to be able to bring out our hands to be able to cast the magic. Did we just drop on the floor by accident? Yes, I did. And obviously sometimes we just don't have the um, luxury of bringing out our hands to heal ourselves, because we're about to be whacked in the face. So, how's your day? Gonna... Oh, never mind. I didn't even get to continue with that. Whenever I'm about to be silly and start talking to you about how long it's taken, then suddenly it speeds itself up. So inconsiderate. Loads of gold. We don't need to pick up all this gold, but we do anyway. We see gold and we take it. What's that? Yeah, that sells quite well. Because, yeah, like, our gold problem is not a problem anymore. Because we can just go back to Creeper any time and sell all that Daedric stuff we've got. We just need to wait a few days. Where's that fish? There you are. He snuck around the pillar to try and get me. Clever girl. Oh, great. You put a trap chest down here where we're going to drown. Trying to get it out. Or not. That was nice and quick. I think that common amulet is worth the same as the common amulet that's enchanted. That's how bad that enchant is, no matter the amulet we have. I think that was everything. Yes, I don't see anything else here. Let's continue. So, we are at an ebony mine. So, it would be a miss of us not to try and steal some ebony while we're here. It is property of the Emperor, but, you know, we're a thief. We don't care. Right, so this is just the offices and the bunkhouses and stuff like that. What we want is the actual mine. Maybe the mine's over there. I was worried I was going to kill myself then. There's the mine. So this place will be guarded. We just have to try and find some veins. There are no enemies in there. Now, they have slaves here. We could try freeing these slaves. So here's a, a vein of raw ebony. I don't see anyone. There we go. No one sees us, no one cares. There's more here, but this guy's in the way. And our sneaking skill probably still isn't good enough to steal anything, even from behind someone. Let's look for any other veins. I believe we haven't been here yet. Have you got two slave Sweet braces? You've got two of them. You must be very dangerous. You 
want some. See, this place is very guarded. Quickly, Outlander. I have so we could use this ebony to make some ebony armor later, but we're probably not going to bother. This place is also guarded. Maybe that guy... Ooh, there's some here. Maybe he won't see us. If we position us... Hmm. Oh, he moved. Excellent. What a fool. Now we're over-encumbered because we're carrying too much ebony. Yeah, I guess we'll drop some of these ebonies now. We'll drop one. Actually, let's try dropping all of them. And see if we can loot any more and take it home with us. He's gone back there. There we go. Sneaky. And now let's head back home. We'll use the necklace of arms for the intervention. What a brilliant necklace. Now we don't even need the spell anymore. It does keep unequipping my other necklace though whenever I put it on, which is a bit annoying. Let's, yeah, we'll drop some of these. We might try and go and see if we can free, free those slaves later. I don't know if you can, though, but I'll have a look. For now, though, we have other goals in mind. And at least those slaves are working for the Empire. How does the day greet you? Ugh! Disgusting! What's your problem? I did your job for you. You got all four? Good. That'll make some people at Caldera Mining Company very happy. Here's 400 septims. The mining company pays well, and when you're ready for more orders, let me know. I need someone to return a code book to that belongs to one of our clients. The code book our client wants is in the hands of Sotterite at the South Wall in Balmora. Find that code book and bring it back to me. She's Thieves Guild. I take full responsibility. And listen, I'm Guild Stewart. When I say jump, you ask how high. Keep that in mind and we won't have any problems. Can we advance yet? No. Okay, I'm not liking well the sound of this. Greetings. Hi there. How close are we to a level up? We might end up leveling up while we're going up there, to be honest. So I think I might go and level up that guy asks way too our heavy questions. armor. So we can increase our endurance for this level up. That seems like a good idea. It will also make us better at using this arm we just picked up. So let's have a look at our, arm, our armor rating. It's 38, and let's use our shield since that's what we're going to be using more. 20. And the face is 13. You seem to be doing alright for yourself. What can I do for you? So we'll train this up to 15. And that should be 10 levels. Actually, I think we might have picked up a book earlier that might have given us a level, so let's do an extra one just in case. Then again, if we get attacked, we're most likely going to level up that naturally, so never mind. So let's have a look at our armor now. Our face is now 32, and our shield is now 50. So that went up a lot. Let's do the extra one level just in case. Right, so now let's think of what else we want to level. We want to level our strength. So, what strength are we lacking? Armor. Let's level up armor. Are you so I said, you should find where's the money in that? We'll do this ten times as well. Actually, then again, we've leveled up our long blade, I'm pretty sure. Oh well, we'll do it anyway. Our strength is starting to look good now, so we should be able to... Um, Max it, even if we waste a few points. What was that about? There we go. That should be enough. Now let's go and pick up one of our blacksmith hammers, just in case our boots break. This should be fine. And now let's go and double check our orders here. Because I'm not too happy. This is the Fighters Guild. Let's get to the Mages Guild. Go ahead, Outlander. What do you need? I'm not too happy of being told potions haven't restocked. 
being told um, that I need to steal from the Thieves Guild here. So I'm going to double check with our good pal in our room. And ask him if he thinks that this quest is above board. Or whether I shouldn't do it. I must be going solitude. Yeah, I know. You want me to go to solitude up there. I know. But that's the second expansion, mate. We haven't even done the first expansion yet. Jeez. The guy's trying to rush us. Now, oh, where did I put that? Hi there. So, about this code book. These orders you've been given seem okay with me. Just try not to kill Sotalude to get that book. I've heard she's a pushover. I'm sure you can convince her to hand it over. How can I okay. help you? I just wanted to double check that with our guild master or previous can you guild ask master. Your question quickly? What's your problem? I just wanted to double check with that previous guild master since he has said that there's some corruption in the fighters guild, so I'd rather not get involved in that. We don't have that book, do we? Let's go and get it. I Let's take another diversion, this time to Vivek to get a book. And then we'll go up north. I promise. Let's see, Vivek. Ah! A visitor. Yeah, hi. What may I do for you? So right now we need to go and get a book. We'll check out our good pal, the uh, Khajiit book trader. He's down in the uh, waste works down here. Not the upper ones, though. We need to go to the lower ones. I was scared I was going to... Yep, you Move you along. are definitely not still on the ground. Bye, ordinator. Right, where is our good pal who sells the books? There he is. He is most likely to have the Chronicles of Neura left. The traveler seeks answers. Hi again. That's the guy that we escorted earlier. Citizen. Get get out of the way, guard, thank you. Do you have Chronicles of Neura left? Yes you do. There it is. Also you have Boethia's Glory. We'll take that. Is there any other cool looking box? Invocation of Azure. I don't know if we have that, but let's take it. Thank you. Guard move. Thank you. Let's see what that box is about then. I might read that later. For now, let's go back to the Mages Guild and give this book to the leader there. So we need to find a way back upstairs. Here it is. There's the guard who's standing in midair. I guess I shouldn't be too confused by it. I mean, I'm, I do levitate myself, so I can't really complain if guards start levitating. No, no, don't. Yeah, that's right, keep moving, good. I was scared that if I was going to go too close, he would stop to talk to me and stand completely in the way and I couldn't get past. You okay? May I help you? I, I wasn't one who was concerned about you. Hey, restore magic potions. We'll take them. I've got to check for you restore health potions Greetings. again. Oh well. Right, this time back to Aldrin. And we'll give this book to the leader here. Hi lady, I got your book. You actually found a copy? Excellent, give the book. I'm impressed, journeyman. I hope you're always this efficient. Can we advance? We don't meet the requirements to be an evoker because our magic sucks. Tell us duties. I've been waiting for ages to get a Detect Creatures Potion from Skinkin' Tree Shade in Sadrif Mora. It's simply taking Skinkin' Tree Shade forever to finish it. Go to Wolverine Hall in Sadrif Mora and bring the potion back to me as soon as Skink is finished. Okay. Are you wounded? You should find it. I'll be fine. I'll just sleep in my bed. That'll cure all my heat and all my wounds somehow. Even more magic potions. Let's take them. Special Flora of Tamriel. 
We might read that later. Are you wounded? I'm fine. Why is everybody worried about me? I forgot to loot this earlier. Let's take the arrows because we're running low. We'll drop the hammers here. And we'll take the healing potions. There we go. We're carrying a lot of weight on, on us, but when we do level up, we'll get a nice five times bonus of strength and we can carry a lot more stuff, so that'll be good. Right, you. Take me to Sadrith Morrow. We haven't been here yet. This is all the way on the east side of Morrowind. This is uh, the Telviani, Telvani place, rather. So they have a more unique architecture we haven't seen something? yet. I'm talking to people. Right, you look like the guy. Yep, your skin can tree shade. Be well, traveller. I may have duties for you later. Right now I'm busy making a detect creatures potion. Tell me about that potion. Yes, of course, soft skin. Take this potion back to Arduino along with my apologies. Speak with me again next time you're here. I may have some duties for you. What duties? For now, just deliver the potion. Okay. Hi, lady. Take me back to Aldrune. Right, and now this should be the end of this quest chain, and I can then go back up to where we were meant to be. Oh, at last you brought me the Detect Creatures potion. I'll give you a potion more useful. So, do we have... What's the next duty? Sir Lorene in the Mages Guild in Vivac... Vivac, sorry, has somehow acquired a copy of... Let's see how, this, how you're supposed to say this. It's probably Chimar. Chimar the Midium. Yeah, I'm going to say Chimar the Midium. It is the sixth volume of the Mobar Soul's Ancient Tales of a Dreamer. Most of the ancient tales are not truly Dreamer in origin, but this one may be the exception. It deals with some sort of golem or centurion. Would you be willing to borrow this book for me? Of course. Thank you. Solowin probably keeps the book near her in the Mages Guild in Vivek. Do whatever it takes to get the book and then return to me. If you're caught stealing, of course, it's a crime against the guild, so be careful. Should you need something, I will be happy. I'll be fine. Right, so now let's do this one, and then we'll go back up north. I promise we will go back to that camp sooner or later. Let's see, so now we're heading to Vivek. Do you want something from me? The lady should be... it's not her, should be in here. You're the one. All right then, I'm Tell listening. Tell me about this book. I, why, I've never heard of such a book. The indignity of it all. I'm sorry about asking you. Don't mind me. I'm just going to steal your stuff. So we don't have any magic, so let's use a scroll of unlocking. Breathing water. Alteration skill, excellent. And here's that book, let's read it. Oh, we got another point in our heavy armor anyway, so it definitely was a waste. Oh well. This is, this is a long book. We won't read that right now. More chests. These look like skooma vials, but they're not. Right, let's try a lockpick, see if this will pick it. Just gonna wait on the dice rolls, we'll get it sooner or later. Maybe the next intellect skill we level up should be lockpicking. Because I'm supposed to be using alteration instead of lockpicking. That was the whole point of why I took alteration as our skill instead of uh, security when we were making our character. But yeah, I wasn't expecting um, to have such a hard time casting all those lockpicking spells. There we go, now let's open this one. Could be here a while. Oh no, that was quick. Ingredients. We'll take all the ingredients. Hi. Don't mind me. Right, you. Well, we're here, actually. Let's go upstairs and get some healing potions from the Vivek Fighters Guild. I think I haven't took those. Anytime you're ready. Where's the chest? Here it is. Oh yes, and there's arrows. Excellent. We'll leave the hammers on the ground. 
Let's take restore health potions. And we'll need to drop some stuff, so... Yeah, the cheap restore health potions. Okay, and now let's head back to Aldrune and give her this book. And then hopefully we're done. And we can then go back up go north. Go ahead. At least we don't have to do this stuff later. So, you know, even if we are doing it all now. Hi, I got you the book. Thank you, I will return the book to you as soon in the meantime. Oh, sorry, I will return the book to you soon. But in the meantime, I have more duties. What's the next duty? I've been distracted from my studies by several reports near Margan. Oh, we're actually going to Margan, so this is good. Apparently, there's some sort of disturbance at Hulene's hut. Since Hulene is a member of a guild, we really ought to do something about the disturbances. I simply haven't had the time to go and do it myself. My research is an absolutely critical phase. Would you go to Margan and have a look for me? Of course. I'm sure someone there can give you further directions. Well, I find myself in pleasant company. Please share your Thank thoughts. Thank you. Someone actually respects us. I think she may be like the third person in the game so far, so far that actually respects us. Okay, let's go... Let's go to about... I'm just wondering what we're carrying with us at the moment. That we could drop. Yeah, so let's go back to Balmora, and we'll drop off some of these iron arrows we have. Yes, I'll... And some of those books and maybe some other loot at home, and then we'll be able to free up our inventory. Because we are very full at the moment. Now then, we picked up a book I wanted. No, not this one, that can go on the floor. There you go, Boethia's Glory. We'll keep that. And invocation for the Shora. Then let's deposit all these ingredients. And then we'll deposit some of our magic potions because we really, well, hopefully we won't need all these magic potions we have. You never know with my magic skill at the moment. Like, we're failing to do a lot. Like, let's just put the flint up here. Actually, yeah, let's just drop potions we're not going to use in this corner. So we got flint. Got Cyrodiil Brandy. Rising Force. Fortify Speed. We'll keep Fortify Speed. I guess we'll use that when we actually get to where we're about to go, and then we'll just move a little bit quicker. Well, we don't want the potions of cure disease, because we have another way to cure it. And on this platter, let's put the really expensive ancient Dagoff Brandy up there. There we go, that should work. And let's put a good chunk of these arrows up here. So let's put around 200. 220. There we go. We should really rest up before we leave. And let's leave. Right, so now, it's been a while, oh wait, I was fine. there's one more thing we haven't done, which is putting away our helm. Oh, should I leave it on? It looks really good, but it is heavy. You know what, we're going to leave it on because it looks cool. Okay, we're going to go now. It's been a long time, but we're finally making progress, yeah. So we're going to take this salt strider up to our room. And then we'll take this one to Margan. We haven't been to Guinness yet. We make a special trip just for you. Same low price. You know about Helene? She's to the town walls to the southeast near the shrine. So this way is southeast. Is that the shrine or is that her hut? This is her hut. You're no creeper. 
You only scamp we like his creeper. The key to Helene's hut. Well, this place is trashed. You're not Helene. I suppose I have a moment. What is it? Yeah, you kind of need to explain yourself. Is the scamp really gone? Thank you, whoever you are. This is all my fault. At first he did everything I told him to, but he tricked me. He wasn't really under my control. Then he started tearing the place up and he took all my clothes and I locked myself in his closet. And it's been just horrible. I don't want to be a sorcerer anymore. I don't want to ever summon another Daedra as long as I live. I wanted to be a real sorcerer, not just Helene's apprentice for the rest of my life. I wanted to prove that I could summon a scamp. Then Helene would have to take me seriously. I'm just glad it's all over. Thanks for killing that scamp. Anyone in particular? Uh, tell me about the mage guild. Never mind. Well, stay safe in there. The doors of the spirits. Maybe this was what he was reading to find some of that scamp. So we've done the quest now, right? Yep, everything's under control. Excellent. Now it's time for us to finally head back up here. So yes, a scamp is a type of Daedra. We have heard of Daedra before, and they are one of the main types of enemies in this game. Hi. What do you want? What are you doing down here? You're just standing outside the city walls. Okay, whatever. Now then, where locally did we leave? We left through this road up here, so let's wind around. Gonna keep an eye out for any caves and stuff, even though I'm pretty sure that we've been in other ones for the Ombus path so far. Just wanna make sure, yes, we are following the correct path. We don't want to get distracted again, so we're gonna go back the same way we went last time, so that we won't get distracted by new caves. In I am still looking around to see if we find any. There's a rat. They're soon to not be a rat. Oh, we're out of arrows. Good job we bought these. Hi, you. No, you were supposed to die then. I'm being bested by a rat. There we go. I think we went right here, didn't we? Yes, we did. So then, let's recap the story so far. So we've learnt that we are the Nerevarine, or at least we appear to fulfil the Nerevarine prophecies, which means that we are Lord Indoral Nerevar Reborn, or the Incarnated rather. Which means that we used to be best buddies with the Tribunal Gods, who are leading Morrowind at the moment. So we are quite important. And apparently we also battled Dagafur. And now Dagafur started speaking to us in dreams, and telling us to go and meet him. But before we can really do that, first off, that's uh, the place I think there's a quest in later, we need to actually be named Nerevarine, like, properly. Because even though Dagafur has acknowledged us, which really, you'd think that would be the test. Like, does the main bad guy of the game acknowledge the fact that, that you're, like, the correct person? But no, apparently that's not enough. Just, just kill this thing with a sword. Come on, Cliff Racer. Hey, we leveled up. Excellent. Hopefully, we got a five times bonus. Let's quick save it before we rest. Oh, we can't because there are enemies. I bet it's a Cliff Racer. It's a Cliff Racer, isn't it? Oh, now we can rest. Uh, yes, we got five times bonus in strength and insurance. Excellent. You resolve to continue pushing yourself. Perhaps there's more to you than you thought. We now have 54 health. So it didn't go up by much, but now, since we have five more endurance, every time we do level up, it will be a little bit more health than we would have got on the previous level. So we probably won't bother with endurance that much, but for the time being, I've decided to increase our heavy armor since we're using some. And may as well have some more health since we are being murdered right now. Even though really the main stats we want to buff right now 
our strength to carry more stuff. We've now gone up to 275 carry weight. Intellect to have more mana and willpower to cast spells better. And then once we're able to cast a load of spells properly, let's kill this guy while he can't see us. Never mind. Let, let's fail to kill this guy. Hey, we actually got it. Excellent. Perfect. I'm pretty sure Conjuration was an intellect skill, so we might level up that one as well. Right, we've been in there. That's the place that were, there were some slaves we freed last time. So we're on the right track. And there is the Dreamer Ruins. Here's some other Dreamer Ruins. We'll go to those at another time. Wow, that actually hit. I'm impressed because I, I had no idea where the crosshair was in third person, man. We're getting some good shots right now. It's definitely not going to last. Did we go right? We went right. Which belt are we wearing? We're wearing the long blade belt. Let's wear the marksman belt. Increase our marksman skill a little bit. See, which way did we go? We went this way, and that's the cave right there. Hi, rat. That's the cave where we found all this good Daedric loot. Because that cave was like broken and had an entrance into this Daedric shrine. So that was like a sealed off lower room of the shrine here. So these are Daedric shrines, we've heard of these and we were told to stay away because they're dangerous. But we're well equipped now so we don't care. Daedric shrines are always good loot. And they tend to be quite unique and interesting places as well. Perhaps, uh, like the game designers just decided to put some like weird stuff in a lot of these places, which is fun. It's not as unique as the future games when it comes to the Daedric Princes, but it's still quite good. There's a Clamphor. This is a more powerful version of a Daedra. So the Scamp was the weakest type of Daedra, and these are stronger versions of a Scamp, basically. We start to have Daedra Hearts, which are always amazing. Let's try and score a sneak attack. No, nope, apparently. That was definitely a sneak attack, it just didn't do a critical hit. So I have no idea how the critical hit system works. Well, this is a worthy distraction, I think. Let's quick save it and go inside. Is that another Dramora Lord? We killed some of them in that crypt. No, it's just a Dramora. Okay. They're weaker versions. Right, there tends to never be friendly people in these places, so we're just going to shoot on sight. Ooh, he's got arrows. Don't you dare cast those arrows. Right, good. Because I want them all. Oh, he's got 50 arrows. Excellent. Those arrows will keep us going for a while because we are running very low. Huh. Interesting. Also, I forgot to use that uh, speed potion we picked up. We'll use it after we get out of here. Right, so there are some people down there. Come on, game. There we go. Nope, that failed completely. Come on. Where do we have to aim to get this? I have no idea. Let's levitate. Oh, he's a spellcaster. I guessed that from his robes, but I wasn't quite expecting him to find me then. There we 
go. Let's see who else is in here. You. Don't kill me. Well, the other one went for me first. Well, technically, I attacked first on your guy upstairs, but you didn't see that. Come on. There we go. Ooh, constant effect ring. Sanguine wisdom. Yep, these shrines are always worth going into. Let's also take his robes. I don't know if we have these yet. Let's put them on. Um, that's just a rubbish one. Glass dagger. We'll take that because glass is also very expensive, like Daedra. Oh, he didn't have any pants. Not our fault. So yes, these places are always worth going into. Similar to the shrine that was underneath the vec where we got those belts we're currently wearing that have a constant effect fortify thing. Right. Forgot who this guy is. I'm pretty sure it's the same one that was under Vivek, so... Um, it's either Meru's Dagon or the Orc one or something like that. I've forgotten. Malakath is the Orc one, I think. If we take these, we are definitely going to get attacked. That did a lot of damage. Let's uh, heal up. We'll just drink a potion so it's over time. Right, we need to drink another restore magic potion this time. We don't want to get close to this guy. He's, his magic is powerful. He is running out of us with a weapon at the moment, but I'm pretty sure, yeah, he can cast more spells. So I don't trust him for a second. I don't think they damage themselves with spells with their area of effect like that. They might do. Frankly, they should, because, it, you know, this is one of those games, like from the era when you... That's during the potion, just in case, when you could totally kill yourself. Let's get away from him. Oh, he still needs one more hit. I was sure that was the killing blow. There we go. That was a Dramora Lord this time. Those guys don't mess around. Right, so anything else down here, or is it just that one exit? It's just that one exit, I think. Unless there's a door on that side. No, there isn't. Okay, so this should be the one exit. Let's try resting. We can rest, so there shouldn't be any enemies. Cliff Racer. Oh, that's a flame matron arc. Oh, that's two flame matron arcs. Let's get away from there. And there's also two cliff racers to the side. This is brilliant. Right. Let's let's try kill these guys from a distance. That is a really wide spell he's got. Oh, jeez, this is bad. Yeah, we we are getting out of here. Run. Just, just run for it. We are not stopping. Oh, there's three of them. We need to get out of here. Just take our losses and run. There's the camp, but I don't want to leave these guys to the camp. I think we're safe now. Come on. Surely they don't still know where I am. We have run a long way. I'm pretty sure they stopped chasing you after a while. Oh, right, of course, it's just this guy. What a loser. Yeah, there you go. This isn't Oblivion. 
I've said that before with regards to not murdering my follower that one time. But here, enemies won't chase you across the entire map. You won't just, like, be unable to sleep because you, that you like, teleported away from someone on the other side of the map. And then, after a few days, you get attacked by a skeleton that somehow chased you across the entire game world. Hi, you. Talk? You come to talk, then talk, Outlander. You have to speak to Sulma Tool. You want to speak to Nibana Mesa. Have they sent for you? No, they haven't. If they have not sent for you, then you will not speak to them. You are an outlander, and Sulma Tool is our chief, and Nibana Mesa is our wise one. They will not speak to you. Well, I am the Nerevreen, so I'm going to go talk to the, the wise woman. Ashkan Jirt. Hi there. How did you get in here? Leave at once or I will kill you myself. Okay, let's leave. We were told to um, definitely leave if you ever get told to. We don't want to insult them. Wise woman. Hi, lady. At least we can talk to her. So, um, let's be nice and ask her about a thoughtful gift. Do you want to offer me a gift? Good. I am not proud. I like gold. This is a custom you outlanders call bribes, yes? Yes, it is. Thousand gold, that's how much I like you. You know what, another thousand gold. So then, I want to talk to you about the Nerevarine prophecies. What does an outlander have to say to an Ur... to an, um... I think it's Ur... Urshalaku, it should be, yes. Of the Nerevarine prophecies. Say that I fulfill the Nerevarine prophecies and wish to speak to Sol Mabur and Nabina Mesa. I do not believe what I am hearing. You think you are Venerovarine, and you wish to speak to Sol Matur and Nabina Mesa? You do not look like Venerovarine, but you do not speak like a fool or a madman. This is a puzzle, I tell you. Go speak to Zabamund in his yurt. He is a Gulakarn, Sol Matur's champion, and he will decide what is right. If Zabamund gives you permission, then you may enter the Ashkan's yurt and speak with Sol Matur. Thank you, I'll be back later. We need to follow their customs to the letter. Ah, this is it. Brilliant. Hi there. I want to talk to you about the Nerevarine prophecies. The Nerevarine prophecies are not for outlanders. Why should Sul Matur and Abina Mesa speak to you about these things? I'm going to tell you what I've learned about the Sixth House and the Nerevarine and ask humbly to speak to Sul Matur. All of that may be true, and I'm sure you think it is very important, but it has nothing to do with us. At least, not the way you tell it. I'm sorry, but I will not let you bother Sol Matur and have been amazed with this. Well then, let's think of what else we could say. We could offer to fight a duel to the death. I really don't want to have to kill this guy, though. We could boast to him and demand the right to speak. That seems a bit too pushy. Or we could offer to bribe him. You know what? I guess we'll duel him, but just not kill him. You are not an unworthy opponent. I hear honour in your words and courage in your heart. I would regret killing you, but will get even more should you kill me. Very well, perhaps Sul Matur will be angry with me, but I think I can bear that. Go to the Ashkan's yurt and speak with Sul Matur. Ask him your questions and tell him I have sent you. Thank you. You see, people say you can't do anything with these Ashlanders. I beg to differ, you just need to have some tact and know what they want. Hi Sul Matur. You got some cool gloves. Yes, Rag, you wish to talk with me about the Nerevarine prophecies? Go ahead, I am very curious. You think you fulfill the Nerevarine prophecies? You wish to be tested to see if you are the Nerevarine? No outlander may join the Nerevarine cult. If you were a clan friend, an adopted member of the Ashlander tribes, then perhaps. I have an initiation rite in mind. If you pass this rite, I will adopt you as clan friend of the Ashlanders, and then I will submit to you Nabina Mesa, our wise woman, who is skilled in oracles and mysteries, and who will test you against the prophecies. Sounds good to me. To be adopted into the tribe, you must undergo a harrowing. In a harrowing, you will be judged by the spirits and ancestors to see if you are worthy. Go to the Urushaku burial, burial caverns and fetch me Saul Sanapul's bone by to bow. Saul Sanapul was my father, and his spirit guards his bone mild longbow deep in the burial caverns. Return to me with this bow, and I will adopt you into the Ashland tribes as a clan friend. How do we find that place? 
A burial cavern's light of a south southeast of a camp, a north facing door in a little hill halfway between us and the slopes of Red Mountain. Go north from the camp to the water, then turn east. At a rock cairn on the beach, turn and head straight south until you find the door. The spirits of our ancestors guard the caverns, they will attack and will kill you if they can. Force your way past them, or evade. Get the bow and return to me. Tell me about Red Mountain. We may as well get uh, the Ashlanders' views on some stuff. Red Mountain is the great mountain of fire in the centre of Rohanfell. The outer slopes are steep and rugged, and the crater is deep and filled with burning rock. Beasts and servants of Devil Dagoth Ur live on Red Mountain. The settled people built a magical barrier called Ghost Fence to keep the evil inside. Within the Ghost Fence, rain never falls and the sun never shines. The only weather is the red and deadly ash blight. We were told about this Ghost Fence, tell us more about it. We haven't been here yet. The Ghost Fence is a magical wall around Red Mountain. Right, so we haven't actually seen that yet, but there is this giant wall around the mountain, so we will be going there later. We need to go there for the temple pilgrimages. Let's see, next up, let's talk about Dagofer. Let's get your view on Dagofer. Dagofer is the devil and the enemy. Dagofer and his beasts are, and servants are the source of many evils that beset the Dunmo and Morrowind. Dagofer dwells in fiery caverns beneath Red Mountain, served by his kin called Ash Vampires, and by legions of deformed monsters. So yes, it is consistent that everybody seems to see that Dagofer is bad. So it doesn't seem like it's just the temple trying to push that. Tell me about some rumours, advice, and secrets. Oh, I can't ask him about secrets, sadly. Right, here's a good one. They call them corporous beasts. They come from Red Mountain. Once they were men. Then blight storms come. They walk in the storms. They get sick. Grow fat and stupid. Now they wander like mad beasts, killing and eating. Very bad. Very bad. Thank you. So we haven't seen any of those corpus beasts yet, and we have to be very careful with them. Oh, please say we're not being attacked by... ...the flame atron arcs. Please be a cliff racer. Our head is turning as if we're following something. Do you see that? Like, our head, it seems to be following something. What am I looking at? There's an invisible enemy, somehow. An enemy's like underground or something. Oh well, at least if it's underground, it can't fight us. Now then, let's go up north. Let's avoid that cliff racer if we can. It looks like we failed. Oh no, it's the next town that's chasing us. Right, so we were told to go north and then Go south at a cairn. I think this is what the cairn is. So let's go south here. Hi, Nick Sound. That is the best AI pathing ever. I'm sure he went that way. So if we just keep heading south here, we should be able to find a north facing wall. Wait, we're going the wrong way now. Right, this is south. Hi, Rat. Buy that. This should be it. Let's check. No, this is an ancestral tomb. Well, let's go. I don't like the sound of that. Oh no, it's these guys. These are the guys that uh, drain our strength. We really do not want to be hit by one of them. Hi, skeleton. I don't know how I can hit skeletons, but not hit something that's like full of actual body mass with my arrows. Well, I save that and then I miss the skeleton. Thanks for like screwing up my point. May as well take the bone meal. Uh, we'll check for loot and stuff afterwards. Right now, I want to make the most out of my. Oh dear. We clicked the trap door, but it's only one point of damage. We should be fine. Hi, skeleton. Are you a caster skeleton? 
This seems to be a very long lasting um, poison. I guess we'll need to heal it after all. I do remember some poisons like this. Do we still have a bow long bow? No, we don't. Yeah, so this poison is going to last a very long time, it looks like. So even though it's only one point of damage, it doesn't seem to want to fade. We know that spells can last up to 20 minutes long. Hopefully this isn't one of them. You're also a trap chest. There we go, it finally faded. I was worried for a moment then. I'm not opening this trap after that last one. This seems to be quite a boring ancestral tomb. So, oh wait, what's this? Scroll of Celerity. Cast once, never mind, it's not that great. Because usually these places can have like at least one good item in them. But it looks like this one isn't one of them. It's just a normal iron spear. Unless that's a secret switch. No, it isn't. Yeah, it looks like a quite a boring one this time. Well, I guess that's good. That means that we're going to be distracted less on our way to the next area. Just a normal iron shield. Yeah, okay, let's keep going. Right, let's keep going south then. So we need to find something on a south... No, this isn't, this isn't south. Well, it might be, I guess. There's no road going straight south at the moment, so I'll have to take our best guess. That looks like a dead silk strider there. That's quite sad. Hopefully we don't go too far. Because I forgot where this place is. seem to be here. No. Let's go this way. Alright, we're back to that tomb. Let's try going the opposite direction. It feels like we're going too far away from the camp at the moment. That was probably a really bad idea, right? I didn't die at least. Let's rest until we're healed. Some daylight, that will help us explore. This could be it. Here it is. <laughs> yeah, I went the completely wrong direction. <laughs> well, we've got a beast in the way of the door, guys. There you go, it moved. Right, let's go into the burial crypt. Right, so this place has loads of mummies in it. We could steal their stuff, but, you know, that seems a bit cruel. I was going to check. These guys just have normal spears, so we're looking for a very special bow. There's also a lot of good loot in this place. So we're going to keep a lookout for it. And since there's skeletons, there'll hopefully be more skeleton archers. Right, let's heal up. Ah! Ok, 
Got anything good for me? Just some bone meal. And it looks like that's the way to go, but there's something above us here, so let's levitate and have a look-see. There's a rat. Let's not get stuck on the ground game. Come on, game. Hit the enemy. I'd really rather not pull out a bound longsword right now, because it looks like there's only one enemy here. All right, he's dead. Let's look for some loot. Right, there seems to be a dead end, so we're going to do this, like, one area at a, at a time, and um, find where all the dead ends are. There's a skeletal corpse here. He just has some money on him, though. Nothing too good. Alright, so that place we've looked into. I wonder if we can make this jump. You'd think we could, because it looks like it's really easy. Hey, we actually did. Alright, here's some dead adventurers. So yeah, there have been um, a lot of people who have tried coming here, evidently. So we'll find quite a few dead adventurers as we go. Perhaps these people were trying to gain favour with the tribe. Perhaps some of these try to be the Nerevarine. Maybe we'll find out, or maybe we won't. There's no loot here, maybe that person picked it all up. Right, so that's everything up there sorted. Let's continue going down. We want to make sure that we don't end up... Um, ooh. Let's shoot this guy from a distance. pretty positive that the success chance of these spells is quite high. It's 39%. Okay, not that high, I guess. Perfect. Yeah, I think I'll level up Conjuration then next, just because I really hate not being able to actually cast the spell. Right, let's just levitate. So levitation is amazing for this place because there's a lot of stuff that's hard to reach. Right, there's no loot there. There's nothing up here. Yeah, there's nothing up there. Is there anything down here? No. Right, so we've explored everything in this area. So next up, Karma Burial. Hi. The skeleton just scratched his head. He's like, are you serious? I've waited like so many centuries or something to kill someone and you just float above me. Hi skeleton. There we go. Get the sword out. Now I'm gonna stop. Examining the normal skeletons. We never carry anything. Hello, you. Nope, you're not what we're after. Right, so we came from the east. Let's remember that. Any enemies here? There's another dead adventurer. Let's let him rest in peace by keeping his pants on. Right, let's examine this place first. Gee, is that an enemy up there? Or is that just not? Oh yeah, there are some enemies up here. Let's drink a potion. To recover some mana, in case you need to use any magic. Come on, skeleton. I want to drag you over here, because I think I can see another skeleton over there. And if that's an archer, then I don't want him to waste his arrows. 
Man, this skeleton has some high skill with blocking. Are we out of arrows? Do we have any others? We have some iron arrows still. Yeah, hopefully we find the skeleton archers soon, because we really need them. There we go. No, you've got a staff. Like, I saw the long object he was carrying, so I thought it was a bow. Ah! Is there another one, maybe? No. Okay. Right. What's this? No, nope, that's not it. That's also not it. Neither is that. Okay, so there's nothing over here. So we can now mark this off. Which means that we came in through the east, and we've been up north. First off, let's make sure we've examined everything in this room. Ooh, that's a lot of stuff. Levitate 500 points for 60 seconds. That will make us go way too fast. Oh, look at that. All those bound things for 60 seconds. We'll use that if we get in a boss fight. That's like full bound armor. Right, we haven't been south yet. Let's check the map. Yes, yeah, so we've cleared out everything else except for this way. So, let's go. We can already see different areas here, so... no, nope, please don't get stuck. There we go, game. Let's check this out one level at a time. So, bottom level, nothing there. Nothing behind the waterfall. Oops. Teleport ran out. Oh, rather levitate, not teleport. Hey, alteration skill increased. I always like seeing that. There's nothing down here either. Alright, so there's definitely nothing down here, so let's start moving on. Oh, you're here. The Four Suitors of Benaya. That sounds good. We'll keep that. Thanks for the read. Right, so that's the Fragile Burial. So let's follow this road up and make sure we're not missing anything. Don't get stuck, game. Here is the Kafka burial. Looks like that's another one of these. Demon Helm. Sure thing. We'll take that. Oh, we're just running out of levitate. Serious. You're not carrying anything. And how about you? You have an urn with some stuff in it. And you, oh baby, you've got some glass greaves. You're a good mummy. I like you. Glass greaves. Let's take them. So, glass is the best light armor in the game. It's like. Dark Brotherhood is the second to best, and Glass is the best. You can see that it goes from 51 to 85. So we are definitely going to be getting a full set of that sooner or later. What's this? I'm able to frost. You know what, you can keep that. You can keep that. It looks like you're enjoying it. Right, Kakuna. And what's up here? Juno. Well, let's do this systematically, one at a time. Let's start with the lowest. So down there's where we came in. Let's go into Fragile Burial. So let's do a quick save just in case we die. Our levitate is running out again. Enemies nearby, let's just drink a potion. 
Levitate is incredibly useful for this place. And for a lot of places in general, actually. There we go, finally. Let's see, is there anything down here? There is. There's a trap door. We'll come back for that. First off, let's check out the site. Yeah! Skeleton Archer! Skeleton Archer is wrecking us. That's a drink. Oh, finally we have some arrows. We are taking those arrows. We are how we are now happy. Very happy. Come on, let me use these arrows I just picked up. Any more enemies? Ghosts. Of course he resisted magic, it's a poison effect. Dunno what you expected to happen there, game. Alright, well we still got levitate, let's check up here. War axe, bow mold armor, bow mold helm. But you don't have the bow mold bow. It's the bow we're looking for. What's that? Skooma? Sure, sure thing. Don't know why there's skooma here, but there's skooma here. Right, you're not wearing any pants, so you keep wearing those. Take that one gold. Right. Yeah, so he's definitely not the one we need. Another skeleton archer. Excellent. I am very happy with all this, uh, these arrows we're picking up. Now let's go this way. Right, there's no enemies here. Let's look at these scrolls. Any good ones? Summon a Deodroth. That's powerful. More skooma. Hey, there is an ancestor ghost here. I don't know why the game was letting me rest there then. Come on, game. There we go. Let's see, there's nothing over here. So now we just have to check up there, make sure that... Yeah, we're going to have to levitate just in case. I don't see the bow, but I'd rather make sure. Let's just rest. It's quicker than actually looking for a potion. Finally! Right, what have you got there? Faith Foken. You know what, we'll take it, it might be good. Bone charm, summon a skeletal minion. Sure thing. And then you got a trap chest. Do you have a weapon? No, you don't. Let's just use our open scrolls instead. I don't feel like messing around with trying to unlock it. Whenever you're ready, game. Yeah, we're, we're definitely going to have to increase our lockpicking skill. At least just for the disarming traps, at the very least. Because there is no spell in the game that disarms traps. Uh, I, I guess we'll take the books. Drink the night eye potion. Drink the speed potion. Why not? Right, now let's go under here. Oh yes, of course, we still want to open this. Let's try a lockpick. Oh, that's a lot of skeletons. Let's shoot them.
That's... Like, he is basically just the embodiment of a spooky, scary skeleton gif. A skeleton just walking permanently in the air. Is there anyone else here? Really, though, just for one skeleton. Sure thing. I'll take it. Right. Oh, a glass tower shield. Now that is a very good shield. Now it's hard to really know whether to use this shield or this one. Because this is better and lighter, but it doesn't have the um, restore health effect. We'll put it on anyway. Now we're over encumbered. We have a lot of um, arrows again, so I guess we can drop some of them. Well, let's drop the drop probably. We definitely don't need that. Let's just make sure our boots are blinding speed that are repaired. Is there anything? Oh yeah, of course. Ebony helm. Like, it's a good helm, but it's heavy armor. I'm sure it's just on my character. So this is the best heavy armor until you get the um, Daedric one. There you go. It's kind of boring. Daedric's much better. See the difference is 34 to 36, so it's not that much stronger. And it's a lot heavier. But that's the reason why, um, how much did it sell for? A lot. We would like to take it if possible. Let's drop all our arrows. We'll just use our magic arrows. Mystery of Talara. Okay, it looks like it's not in here, either. So let's continue. Yes, yeah, so that's why Daedric stuff is the best in the game, is because it's basically an extra tier above the others. Because glass armor is on the same tier as ebony armor. Like, they're both the strongest in their field, but then they also have Daedric, which is just like the cheat version, but it's really heavy. Oh, no, 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 get... Ooh, that was good. I almost fell. That would have been bad. Kefka burial. Oh no, this is bad. Right, let's leave and reuse our spell. Right, let's go and prepare this time. There we go. So you're an archer, you have magic arrows, which means now we're overweight again. Excellent. What are we carrying that's way too heavy? Uh, bone meal stacks up. But what can we drop instead? I guess we could just say screw our heavy stuff and throw that away, but I'd really rather not. These are really heavy, we really shouldn't have brought all those with us. I'm going to drop the bone meal. Actually, I barely lowered our thing at all. Never mind. Maybe it's about time we dropped our robes. See, I do like going between them all. These are very heavy arrows. We'll drop those ones. As much as I love arrows, those ones weigh like half a unit each. Drew Curas. We don't care about that. That's medium armor, it's rubbish. Evan, which way did we come from? Did we come from this way? Yes, we did. Is there anything up here? No, there isn't. So, we'll just uh, leave those arrows behind. They're too heavy to carry. Hi.
Oh, this place has loads of skeletons. Can we score a hit all the way from over here? We can. One shot. Brilliant. Any more spooky, scary skeletons? Hey, another dead adventurer. Anything good here? Doesn't look like it. Right, so we came from that direction. Let's check here. Nope, nothing there. A chitin shield. Jeez. Or is it chitin? I don't know how you pronounce it. Nordic Claymore. And you don't have anything. Okay, so this place wasn't the right place to go. But at least we know, and that's the important part. Because each place that we know isn't the correct path, is one less place it could be. Right, let's go upstairs. Oh, please, good. I'm having to beg the game not to get me stuck in stuff. Just because I know it will. Is this the top one? Or is there another one after this? There's one more. Let's go to Kakuna Burial. Hi, skeleton. Do you have no weapon? That's bad. We've been knocked unconscious in the water and now we're drowning as a result. That's pretty good, I didn't know that happened. Well, I'm happy that we did this then. Why do you not have a weapon, skeleton? Every other skeleton here has stuff, and he's just like, nah, all I need is my fist, I'm Kenshiro. Oh, there you are. Hello. Oh wow, spooky scary skeleton time. <laughs> Why are there so many skeletons? Skeleton Archer, why have you put down the... Do they not have any bows on them? I mean, any arrows? Man, this place is too spooky. It really is. Why are skeletons trying to put? You had arrows! You had arrows! Why were you trying to punch me? Oh, I am so confused. Right, that weighs one. These weigh two each, so we'll... I'd really rather not drop those. Let's drop the Dark Brotherhood helm. Where did the other skeleton die? Here he is. He's also got good at... No, those ones weigh half a pound each. I don't know if it's pounds or kilograms. I don't know what measurement they use. I'll just continue saying just for number. Why am I trying to jump up this place like parkour style when I can levitate? That's better. Right, you. You have a dagger. You have a halberd. We're looking for a bow. Chests. We already have that. Ooh, fortified strength. Let's take that. Over encumbered? I think not. I have fortified strength. Where is it? There we go. Now we've got way more carry weight. Sadly, it's all going to be wasted while we try and open this lock. All of those are useless. Let's continue. Ooh, scroll of hellfire. That looks good. 
another dead adventurer. Such a pain stripping these guys to their pants, but we started the gimmick. We're not gonna stop. Any good scrolls here? Soul Trap and Paralyze, now that's a good one. That could get us out of a bind very easily. Is that it? Is there nothing else here? It looks like there's something under there. Yes, there is. Sneaky. And now we can't move because we're over encumbered. Now, we don't need two of these books. Is, is there nothing here? Surely, there we go. That's good. Defol Cathopolid Helm, I guess. Well, it's expensive, I'll give it that. Hi, Mummy. You have some good stuff hidden here. Right, let's drop something else. Is there any heavy ingredients except for the Daedric Hearts? We don't really want to drop them. I guess not. We'll just drop... Let's drink the Fortify Speed, I guess. And we'll drop... I really don't want to drop anything. We'll drop some of these arrows. Just so we can move. Right, it looks like that's everything that's in here. Okay, so that's one more place cleared out. And I think that means there's only one more place to go. It's fitting that the last one is at the top. Let's go. That is another skeleton. Well, let's start using arrows. Every arrow we use makes us a little bit lighter. Nothing up the sides. Skeleton. Excellent. And I can't get a clean shot on, shot on that guy up there. That's a shame. And keep our weapon drawn. Right in the skull. I guess skeletons can't cast magic then. Were you an archer or just... No, you were just a normal skeleton. That's fine. Oh, another enemy. Where are you? He's an arrow guy. He's dead. Oh, it ran out again. Let's see... Armourer's hammer. Let's just repair all our stuff quickly then, while we have it. And we're out of repair hammers. Well, that makes us a bit lighter. Fortify Majika, let's take that. That'll give us more maximum mana, I believe. Apprentice probe, much leather boots, dagger. Still no sign of this bow yet. These arrows only weigh one each. That's great. So let's drop more of these heavier ones. Okay, this architecture is starting to look nicer now. So I think we're making it to the heart of this place. Just going to keep checking for any secrets. I can hear ghosts. Oh dear, that's, that's a boss. Let's get our mana back and bound some abilities. I noticed he had a unique name. I think this is that guy's ghost. 
He is very fast. Yes, this is the Wraith of Saw Sunapore. And there's the bow. There we go. Done our quest. Let's see if there's anything else to steal here. Maybe a little bit more glass armor or something. Soul gems. And a frost shield. Yeah, we'll take that. We'll have to drop another thing though to do so. And it looks like we finished. So I guess in this creepy place with ominous sounds will be where we start the next part because we've done everything we really wanted to and we've probably been going quite a while because this is a long dungeon. So everyone have a nice day. I'll just sit here wearing this really creepy helm. Scaring all the ghosts, all the spooky scary skeletons that we've been fighting today. Such a spooky episode. Anyway, bye bye.